Dog continues to recover tonight after rescuers say she was found covered in blood and left for dead in the woods of Knightstown. It happened two weeks ago near U.S. Route 40. 24 Hour News 8's V. Win joins us now with more on what caused those injuries, V. Yeah, Dave and Brooke, the dog is a great Pyrenees named Heidi. She just turned three years old but has already been through so much. An animal control officer who was off duty at the time believes Heidi was hit by a car. They found her in the woods behind a grocery store waiting to die. It was behind the brush where Heather Hamilton says she found Heidi. Back in here, so we moved all this. Hamilton and also works as an animal control officer for Greenfield. She says she was off work at the time when she saw a post on Facebook about an injured dog in Knightstown. Most of the time, animals will find a hiding spot to go and die when they know they're getting ready to. So. I have no doubt she wouldn't have made it had we not gotten to her when we did. Hamilton believes the dog was hit by a car somewhere on US 40 and made her way over to the woods. And unfortunately, not everybody always stops. These pictures provided by Hamilton show the extent of the injuries. The impact left the dog with a hole through her face and into her sinus cavity. Her front leg was sliced open, where Hamilton says she could see the bone, muscle, and maggots. I've been an animal welfare for about 10 years, so I've seen a lot, and this is probably one of the worst cases I've seen. But Heidi, the dog, is now on the road to recovery. She was taken to Indy Great Pyrenees Rescue, then to Purdue Small Animal Hospital, where she had six surgeries. Right now, she's doing good, and we just went to see her on Saturday, and she's a big, lovable sweetheart. She was wonderful. Come up and give me a kiss. So. I think she'll be all right. Volunteers with the rescue group created a GoFundMe page and raised more than $15,000 in 15 days for Heidi. It's hard to believe, but there's so many animal lovers out there everywhere that are always willing to help. Now, vets did find a microchip on Heidi, and it said she was from Greenville, Ohio. The rescue group learned Heidi had been through three families, with the most recent being in Knightstown. The rescue group said the current owner surrendered the dog to them after um, this incident. Heidi is still at the Purdue Small Animal Hospital, and they're hoping she can go home sometime next week to a foster family. V. Wynn, 24 Hour News 8.